we are working on the sugar push. The sugar push basically is when the man stays in the track. So what happens is when he goes back, he creates a wall and the lady comes into him and compresses and then springs back. Now this is not led with the arms, it's led with the body. So as the leader goes back, is he's going to, to take two steps back and one, two. Now he's closing his feet, so he's stopping, but she's continuing to move forward in her two walks. There's the compression, so she's compressing into him. Now from here, he's going, going to do an anchor triple, and we go anchor, and notice on four he needs to travel. He needs to move down the track. Now he's going to do his hook anchor triple and anchor back. So let's look at that again. So he goes into his back action and moving his center. Now from here, we're going to do a hook triple and hook two. Now big step down the track and four. Now we're going to do our anchor. Anchor step. Now the leader could do a delay triple action in place. He could do this, he could go and one, two, triple move, triple step. That's doing a delayed forward triple. Street West Coast swing has more of a hook action and that creates a little more shape. Okay, so we're focusing on doing a hook triple. Now, I want you to notice that that, that fourth step is a big movement down the track. That's what gets the lady going. Let's look at it again. And one, two, three, big step on four, five, uh, six. Notice the ending position. Arms are extended. Legs are in fourth position. Okay, now let's look at his steps in more detail. Thank you, Yasmin. Okay, so step one is left foot back. Left foot back. Step two, right foot close to left foot. Yes. Now step three, we're doing a hooking action. He hooks behind. That's got to be the ball of the foot. Leaders cannot drop the heel here. Otherwise, if he drops his heel, let's watch and see what happens. His weight goes back. He becomes very slow. So he just needs to use the ball. So he goes and... Ball, flat, now we gotta get down the track. That's four. Now the anchor triple, anchor back. So we'll look at that again. So we have, and back on one, close your feet on two. Hook, three, a, uh, four. Big step on four, anchor triple. Excellent, so the big thing here is to move back on one with the body. So we can take a nice big step on one to create movement for the lady. And one. Once he closes his feet, she's going to keep moving. She goes into the wall and she compresses. Now he's going to do his triple action. He's going to do triple, but on the step, he needs to get moving down the track with his body. Boom. Once he gets his body going, then the lady's going to continue moving. And then we'll do the anchor step. So let's look at this with the lady. So let's see how all this works together. So the man is in the track. He's going to move his body back. By moving his body, that's going to have make the lady come forward through the connection. Ready? Go. Take one. Stop. So one's a big step. When he closes his feet, she keeps moving. Now. That's when the compression happens. We absorb the compression into each other using the hands and dancing our centers. So we don't think about using muscle power. We think more about dancing our body weight into each other. Now we're going to anchor. On the anchor, we're still compressed. We go. Triple. Now on the step, it's a big movement. Here he goes. He moves his body. He lets the arm release a little bit. So the lady can start going into her extension, but now he sets the hand. Once he sets that hand, the lady has to work off that hand, and we call that the post. Once he sets the post, we anchor right from that, that spot. And, anchor.
weaker step. So we're going to look at that again. So he's going to start to move. We'll take the first two steps. And one, here's the compression. Body weight into each other. Now, the triple step is coming up. The three, a four. Now let's look at that. Three, a four. Notice how I said that four because it releases. Now we anchor. He sets the post. Five, a six. Okay, now, now we're going to do that again. So let's just look at something that we don't want to do. We don't want to muscle the lady. Just use your arms to pull her in with your arms. Pull her forward. And pull her. Now push her back. Push her back. That, so that's, we don't want to do that. So what we want to do is we want to use our body weight to create a smooth, controlled action. Not a jerky action. So let's look at it now with the body weight dancing in the connection. And one, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six. Again, one, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six. Very nice. Let's just have you move a little bit away from camera. Good. So now let's look at this step with, we're going to do a couple sugar pushes. And then we're going to go into the underarm pass and then come back into the sugar push. Ready, and one, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six, one, two, three, a uh, four. Here comes the pass. And he gets off the track. Triple into side, anchor step. Let's do a side pass. And one, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six, back to a push. One, two, three, a uh, big step. Again, one, two, three, a uh, four. Let's do a side pass. And one, two, three, a uh, four, five again. One, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six. Thank you very much.